हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज अ प्रोसीजर लेट टी फ्रॉम वी वन टू वी टू इज अ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन And B2 are vector space. Then we have basis of V1 and basis of V2. Suppose S1 is basis of V1. Element x1, x2, xn, and S2 is the basis of V2. Y1, Y2. Why? So we know that P is a map. So image of V1, image of V1 belongs to V2. So we can write down the elements of basis of V1 in linear combination of elements of basis of V two means P of element of S one X one equals to linear combination of elements of S two. Suppose alpha one, alpha two, alpha n are constant. So alpha one y one plus alpha two y two. Alpha n, y n. Okay. Similarly, for x two, any constant we can take beta one, y one, plus beta two, y two. B. Sorry. Beta m, y m. Similarly, we can do for last term also. T of x n. We can take gamma, gamma one, y one, plus gamma two, y two, gamma m. Fine. Now we can find value of alpha one, alpha two, alpha m by comparing from left hand side. How? Because t is defined here, we can easily find the value of t of x one. After finding the constant, just write down the value of constant in column vector. This is our matrix. Alpha one, alpha two, alpha m, beta one, beta two. Similarly for all, we can write. This is our required matrix. Let's understand the procedure with one example. So this is our question. 2017 June in CSIR. Let V be a vector space of polynomials of degree i cos 3 in a variable x with coefficient in r, where t is v by dx. We have v the linear transformation of v to itself means t is v to v. Given by differentiation, find the matrix with respect to this is. The basis here. Let's start. Because t is from v to v, so this is the standard basis for both. Okay, so just take first element of basis of v. How can it define 
d by dx. So d by dx of one. What is the value? Zero. Right hand side. We can write in linear combination of bases of b. Same. Suppose alpha one is r constant. Alpha one into one. Alpha two into one plus x. Just I am writing the linear combination only. One plus x plus alpha three. One plus x plus x square plus alpha four. One plus x plus x square plus x cube. Left hand side is zero. Compare it. What we will find? Alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four equals to zero. Okay. Next one. The coefficient of x. It's alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four is also zero. Next coefficient of x square alpha three plus alpha four equals to zero. And coefficient of x cube alpha four equals to zero. Means what is the matrix here? Just write down the value of alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and alpha four in column vector. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Now for second. For second element, what is the second element? One plus x d by dx of 1 plus x is 0 plus 1 means 1 okay this will be the same alpha 4 1 plus okay again compare alpha 1 is Alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four will be one. Alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four is zero. Alpha three plus alpha four is zero, and alpha four is zero. Alpha four is zero, so alpha three is also zero. Alpha two is also zero, so alpha one is one. One. Zero, zero, zero. Now for third one, t of one plus x plus x square. D by d x. Of one plus x plus x square. What is the value? Zero plus one plus two x equals to right hand side will be same. What we will find? Compare it. Alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four will be one. Alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four will be two. Okay, this will remain same. So alpha four is zero. So alpha three is zero. Means alpha two is two. Alpha one is.
ओके माइनस वन माइनस वन टू जीरो जीरो नाउ फॉर सिमिलरली फॉर आर लास्ट एलिमेंट of 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube d by dx of this will be 0 plus 1 plus 2x plus 3x square alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 plus alpha 4 will be 1 alpha 2 plus alpha 3 plus alpha 4 is 2 alpha 3 Plus alpha four is three. Alpha four is zero. So alpha three will be alpha four is zero. Alpha three will be three. Alpha two three plus zero two minus one. And alpha one plus put all values. Minus one plus three plus zero is one. So alpha one plus two is equal to one. Means this will also minus one. So this is our required matrix. We can ask by any question like. If linear transformation is from B to V, basis is this. Then what is the nature of T? Means what is the eigen value? T is diagonalizable or not? Whatever. For this, we have to find the matrix. After this, we can do anything. Okay. And one thing also, if in question basis is not given, then you can take standard basis for this. Okay. so let's take one another example also so this is our second example in 2016 in csir let b be the vector space of polynomials of degree less than or equal to 10 t is defined as this P of p x is equal to p dash x. B a linear transformation from B to V, and this is our basis. Okay, let's solve it. So t is from V to V. So this is the basis for both. Just take the first element of basis. Linear transformation of one. How it defined? P x is equals to p dash x. Means d by d x of one. Okay. In linear combination of this, alpha one, alpha two, x square. Sorry, x, alpha three, x square, alpha eleven, x. Okay. After comparing, what we will find? All are zero. All are zero. Let us take our matrix. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Take second element, x means one. Same. What we will find from here? Alpha one is one. Rest are zero. So one, zero, zero, and so on. Take second one. 
third one x square means 2x what we will find from here alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 2 by comparison okay alpha 3 rest all are 0 so 0 2 0 and so on same for x cube what we will find 3x square so alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 0 alpha 3 will be 3 so 0 0 3 similarly we can find next will be 0 0 0 4 and so we can find our matrix from here okay so in this way we can find a matrix from any linear transformation. Okay. Thank you friends.